Okay, sensory processing differences (SPD), um, sometimes referred to as sensory processing disorder, and I really dislike the word disorder, and we'll get into that later. Um, so, I will be using sensory processing. Process. I will be trying to use my words. Sensory processing differences.、Um, In this video, so <clears throat> I get questions and requests、uh, about this a lot, and it's and it's it's a big topic, and it's a bit of an intimidating topic, and I haven't felt prepared to really do this video,、um, but I was thinking about it today, and I feel like maybe I can do it a little bit of justice at this point. So here goes. Wish me luck. Okay, <sighs> big topic.、Um, sensory processing differences can happen to a lot of people. We have many different senses:、uh, touch, sight, sound, taste,、um, textures in your mouth and on your skin.、Um, There's also your sense of balance, and where you are in space is another sense. And there are very medical terms for all those things, but just consider those are all senses. And everyone in the world, you know, experiences their senses in a very different way. And it's it's easy for us to assume, you know, unless we know better,、uh, that the people around us have the same sensory experience that we do.、Uh, But this is just not the truth.、Um, in the neurodivergent population,、uh, there are a large number of people who are having difficulties with their sensory differences to the point where they call it sensory processing disorder. And there's that word disorder. And when you know they do get that word. Disorder labeled with their sensory differences. That is going to be because it is making having enough of an impact on that person's life to where it actually is disabling them in some way.、Uh, you know, my personal example here with this for me would be I have a lighting sensitivity. I There are just certain types of lighting that I cannot be around and I cannot expose myself to. It It、hurts my eyes. It burns. Like I can wear sunglasses and hats for a while, but I don't think you should always be sitting in the dark, you know.、Um, but I can't be around it. And if I'm around it for too long, you know, even a few hours, I will start to get like a migraine headache, really bad. I will start to get nauseous.、Um, and with me, I found that if I'm repeatedly around it day after day, I kind of, in, in general. Just more wound up and on edge, and just uncomfortable, and it just becomes really hard for me to relax. It really impacts my health just being around this kind of lighting.、Um, and there are other types of sensory sensitivities that you know people can have.、Uh, like I mentioned earlier, all the different senses <clears throat> can be turned in either direction.、Uh, You know, think of it as like the knob on the radio, a volume up and down.、Uh, you, know, I guess you would assume that most of the general population is in the middle. We we pretend, but I don't know. I think it could be everywhere.、Um, and you know, someone with a sensory processing difference can have that knob turned way down low to where they don't experience that sense very much, like with sound, and they you know they crave hearing more sound.、Uh, or it can be turned up really high to where sounds are so intense that it can actually be painful to a person's ears.、Um, I'm there are only certain sounds that are physically painful to me, although I'm really jumpy. So that thank goodness I don't have too much of that issue. Although I kind of need. Quiet time. If I'm around a lot of hustle and bustle and noise,、um, just I start to crave quiet. But I can be around noise. I can handle noise、uh, for a while. It just makes me really tired. I just feel like I get worn out. I want to go take a nap and be somewhere, someplace else, and someplace quiet.、Um, the other thing with that, I guess, might be a sensory processing difference for me.、Uh, would be 
a lot of noises are louder to me. Um, but it also is like, I can hear things really, really well. And sometimes David's really surprised. It's like, you what, you heard that? I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, easily. You know, I can hear. But at the same time, it's like, I can hear so well that, you know, if I am in a restaurant with a, like a peak time when it's really loud, I really can't hear what the people around me are saying because it's just all at the same volume. It's just all, and it just drowns out the people talking. Uh, and, you know, sometimes I'll only catch a word here or there, and it's not enough with, like, context clues to figure out the conversation, and then it's just not very fun because I'm just sitting there trying to figure out what people are saying, and it's just tiresome. Um, but, you know, in a quiet uh, environment with a few people, <laughs> it's not so much an issue. It's more like my brain will just skip words, or I won't hear them. I It's, it's kind of annoying. Um, but it just happens more when I'm tired or if it's really loud around me. Uh, so if I want to have an intimate conversation or with friends, you know, I'm not going to want to do it in a loud environment. Although, you know, if I want to go to a concert, if those are loud, I probably would do that and really enjoy being submerged in some music that I love because I love music and I will crank up the music and rock out to the music and dance to the music when nobody's around. Um, yeah, and you know, that's all wonderful. So it just is certain types of th sounds that kind of bother me, um, but everyone's experience is different. You know, that, that knob can be turned in either way. Um, what else? Ooh, uh, like touch things. Uh, me, I am always, always, always cold and I have a really hard time tolerating like air moving across my skin and the worst sensation in the world is um, wet skin with like air. After you get out of the shower, it's horrible. Um, and then brushing your teeth is really horrible and I cannot file my nails so I just cut them off but like those are like just some things um, and then like clothes can be itchy sometimes like sometimes I just can't wear certain things and some days it's all right um, so those are I guess some like different sensory things that I experience um, but everyone's a little bit different uh, and it can you know be to a point where cl wearing clothing can be painful and eating food can be completely unappetizing because just the flavor of food can be overwhelming or the flavor like food can have like no flavor at all. I have to eat food that has a lot of flavor in it. I don't, I cannot eat bland food. It will make me gag. I just can't do it. Um, and then there's just certain textures every now and then I'm just like, I, can't. you just can't. I don't know why. I just can't. And those are some differences. And, you know, everybody has all these different differences, and they're just all different. Every single human experiences sensory things differently. And I just think it's just something interesting to think, at, think about. I wonder a lot how animals' sensory experiences are, because I always wonder how animals think. And now that I know people can have such a a huge like spectrum of sensory experiences I can't help but wonder like oh my gosh like what is it like for a dog because their brain is a completely different shape or a cat or I feel like cats are like really stimmy critters and they're always rubbing on things so I don't know it might be fun to be a cat <laughs> and maybe in another life I don't know um, but yeah I just just a lot to think about um, and just how different everyone's experience can be and you know back to why I don't like the word disorder I don't I've removed myself from situations where the lighting is going to wear on me and make me ill for my health and now that I've done so and I've surrounded myself with natural light and the right sensory environment I have there's nothing wrong. I have no problem now. I am perfectly fine. So I don't think that's a disorder. I think we need to get some new lighting and some better solutions um, because there's a lot of people who experience this. There are a lot of people who get migraines from certain kinds of lighting. Um, and you know, if you're one of those people, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know. Or if you have sensory differences, 
what I'd love to hear about those share your experience because like I said everyone's experience is different so I'd love to hear that um, yeah I, you know it's it's just really fascinating um, so anyway uh, let me know what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I think you have to turn on a like a notification on certain things, like a follow or to get notified when new content comes out. Um, make sure you do that. And thanks. I will talk to you next week. Bye. <laughs>